We are quickly approaching an event of a lifetime, the Great American Eclipse on April 8th, 2024, stretching from Mexico all the way through the middle of the United States up into Canada. In this episode, we'll talk about the Great American Eclipse and what you could do to prepare for it. So what is a solar eclipse? A solar eclipse is when the moon is in a position to partially or totally block the light of the sun. There are around two to five solar eclipses per year with a total eclipse happening around every 18 months on our planet. So let's talk about five tips that you can do to get ready for this eclipse. First, learn about eclipses. Eclipses of the sun and moon are fascinating. Before our modern understanding, Eclipses were viewed as a bad omen of things to come, evoking fear in many. Eclipses are fascinating events to learn about, and so is astronomy. You can learn more about this eclipse by going to www.greatamericaneclipse.com or check out Sky and Telescope Magazine 2024 Eclipse Guide at skyandtelescope.org. Or you can go to the Planetary Society where they have more information on this year's eclipse at www.planetary.org. Two, pick up some solar eclipse glasses. So why not look at the sun? Our eyes contain sensitive rod and cone photoreceptors in the retina. The sun's ultraviolet light is absorbed in the retina and starts a process of destroying those photoreceptors. This all happens without you even sensing it it can take up to 12 hours afterwards for you to notice symptoms. If this is the case, seek medical help. Be sure to pick up solar eclipse glasses with the ISO 12312-2 certification. I purchased solar eclipse glasses in 2017 from the largest online retailer, and it turned out that those glasses failed those ISO certification standards. Be sure to use my High Point Scientific link in the description below to pick up some eclipse glasses before it is too late. Number three, make a DIY eclipse viewer. Another fun DIY project you can do, and it's great with your kids, is making your own eclipse viewer. In the past, I've made an eclipse viewer out of a milk bone dog box, and another time I used a La Quinta hotel brochure. The idea is simple. Take the sun end of the box or tube, puncture a small hole in the middle with a thumbtack. The sun end of the box or tube needs to be thick enough only to allow the light of the sun through the end. Some DIY projects use aluminum foil. On the projection end of the tube or box, have an area where the sun's light will be cast on maybe a white sheet of paper. This is your movie screen. You can use bright white note cards or paper taped on that side of the screen. Finally, you need a way to view the sun. You may need to cut out an opening in the side of the box or tube to see your eclipsing sun. Number four, use a camera to take the eclipse images. For this eclipse, I am planning on using my camera tripod, Canon R10 camera, a Canon RF 100 to 400 millimeter super telephoto zoom lens, an envelometer, and a Celestron Eclipse Smart safe solar eclipse telescope filter in order to take pictures throughout the event. Once I set up my equipment, I'll use the manual mode on my camera. I'll focus in on the sun by zooming in on a prominent feature, like a high contrast feature such as a sunspot or the limb of the moon. I recommend going to Mr. Eclipse website and consult the chart that he has put together to work with your particular camera and lens. The link is in the description of this video. I'm practicing now with different settings to make sure I have everything down pat for the eclipse. Once totality takes place, I'll remove my safe solar eclipse filter and take multiple shots using a faster shutter speed. Be sure to get your filter back on before totality ends. And finally, use a solar eclipse telescope if you have one. I'm packing my Lunt 40 millimeter dedicated hydrogen alpha solar telescope and my Skywatcher SolarQuest solar tracking mount for viewing this eclipse. I'm planning on using my ZWO178MM monochrome camera to take images of the sun with fire capture software. I truly hope that you have a cloudless day 
and be able to see all the wonders of this total solar eclipse. Until next time, thanks for joining me on Astrophotography at Portal 5. This is September 21st, the Great American Clips. Hi, Mom.